and hello everyone welcome back to another tutorial so in this tutorial we'll be covering getting some basic user input but from the file in the terminal now you might be wondering wait what do i mean but i mean by passing in arguments for example let's see this dot output there so we would go like this now this piece of code that doesn't matter just imagine it's just that output it's just that and we were to run it and say jack18 for example we can actually get these arguments so let's actually get started with that so the reason i always tell people to include this whether they're going to use it or not because it's on, it's optional to include it. you don't have to include this but it's because this right here allows us to work with this right here that's what it does so let's actually use the basics of this so arc c is the amount of arguments that's getting passed in that's what this one right there is it's an int arc c we can check it out by saying c out and then instead of printing out a string we can just say arc c now if we were to run this and let's just run it like that we'll get one and i'll explain why we get one in a second if we then say 99 and jack or something like that we get free now the reason we get free here even though we just passed in two things is because it also takes the executable name so the executable itself it always passes that in as well so this is number one that's why we got one there because it took this into itself then this would be number two and this would be number three that's the basics of that. Now accessing them, you can do that with arg b. It uses an array type syntax, which if you don't know what it is, don't worry, we'll cover arrays in the future. But by going arg v, and in, in brackets, we can say zero. Zero is the very first item in this packet right here. So it starts at zero, not one. Take that as noted, it always starts at zero not one so if we run this we'll get output as you can see right there if we want, we want to get 99 then we can just say one and that will give us 99 if we want to get jack we can just specify two here then that will give us jack note if you want to specify something that does not exist for example four because there are not four elements there then it's just going to give us shall equal bin slash bash it will give us something different if we say three as you see, it will give us absolutely nothing. Now, the reason it does things like this is because some other things are also being passed in and stuff like that. You usually don't have to worry too much about it. But if you try and access something that's not there, it might try to access something that you don't necessarily want. As you can see here, it throws out a bunch of environment variables because those get passed in as well. But take note, if you were to add more here, so let's see, we need nine. So one, two, three four five six seven eight nine and i'm going to add a tenth one because remember it starts counting at zero one two three four five six seven eight and now we're getting to nine because remember this is zero this is one so here i can just say big human or something and then we get big human. So these variables right here, these environment variables, they'll get moved on further the more items we add. So you should just make sure that the item you add in here is never more than argc. Because if it's more than argc, then that means something's probably going to go wrong and you don't want that. And yeah, that's the basic of command line arguments. Thank you all for watching, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all again in the next tutorial.